going on guys? Cameron from KC Turbos. Today we're going over how to swap over your intake adapter pipe from your EcoBoost 3.5 stock intercooler to the new KC upgraded intercooler. Let's get started. Get yourself an 8 mil socket and then we're just going to remove this factory fastener. Easy. So we won't be reusing these so you don't need to hang on to it. To remove this piece, simply rotate it counterclockwise it's about what is that 11 10 o'clock then it just pulls straight up and it does that it's keyed into these two tabs here that rotate it's got the two locking tabs in there you can see that lock into it so you do have to reuse this factory piece now let's switch intercoolers it's your kc upgraded intercooler it's going to come with two new fasteners right here these are little m6 allen head bolts Those are going to take a five mil uh, hex key, Allen key. Just remove those. Okay. And installation is reverse of disassembly. So grab these keys, make sure you line it up with the keyways in this. See them right there. So you're going to start with this adapter piece at about that 10 o'clock position, 11 o'clock position. Now, the best way I've found to do this is you use two hands, press straight down with your palm on this, and then use this like a big ratchet. So as you're pressing down, make sure it's seated all the way, and then slowly rotate it in. And there you go. And make sure these two bolt holes line up right here for your two new M6 uh, retainer hardware. I'd recommend just getting them started finger tight Just so you don't You know mess up your threads Loosely snug them down There's the first one now let's do the second one And these can be a little finicky to get started Since the molding in your plastic this factory piece Sometimes likes to move around so every adapter pipe is going to be a little bit different. So once you get that started, gently get it started. Now, the most important part, make sure you torque these to 60 inch pounds or five foot pounds. We're just holding down a piece of plastic. It doesn't have to be super tight. You already have your O-ring seal in this uh, boss section, so you don't have to destroy it. You can also just snug it up if you don't have an inch pound torque wrench. Just don't go bananas on it. Alright, there you have it.